Today we're going to build our first mobile app game, a variation on the traditional fairground whack-a-mole game. So I'll open up my web browser, go to App Inventor. Remember App Inventor will always open up the previous project you were working on. So let's go to Projects, My Projects and start a new one. And we're going to call it Mole Masher. I'm going to go full screen here and looking at my screen design, the first thing I'm going to do is give the screen a title. We're going to be working with graphics in this app, so we're going to drag out a canvas onto the mobile app screen and this is going to represent a field that the mole lives in. So let's set it to green. I'm going to set the width to full parent so it fills the full width of the mobile app screen and the height I'm going to set to 300 pixels but you choose what works best for your device. I'm also going to rename it as Canvas Field. I'm now going to drag an image sprite onto the canvas. Now this is a graphic that we can work with on a canvas and I'm going to rename it Image Sprite Mo. And you can see in the components window how the image sprite is related to the canvas. I'm going to set the Image Sprite Mo's picture property to a picture I have of a mole here. And I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Below the canvas, I'm going to have a start button and a text label to display the score. So to get things side by side, we need a horizontal arrangement component, remember? And I'm going to drag in the button and the label. The button's going to be a start button, so I'm going to rename it button start. And the label will display the score, so I'll call that label score. And giving components and other things in programs meaningful names is really important because it makes it much easier to identify them when you go back and work with them later. Now setting the properties for each of these, first of all the button, I'm going to set the font to bold, 18 point, and the text start. I'm going to leave everything else at the standard settings. Moving on to the label, I'm going to set it to bold, 18 point to match the button, the text I'll set to score and lastly the colour, I'm going to set the text colour to red to make it stand out. The next component I'm going to use is under sensors and it's a clock. I'm going to drag this clock component onto my mobile app screen and because it's not a visible component, because you can't see it, it's listed down below the main app screen here. The purpose of the clock is to use as a timer. Now in computing, a timer is a component which can create an event every so often. In this case, the timer will fire every 1000 milliseconds, every second, and we can change this. And in our game, we're going to use it to move the mole every second. So I'm going to call it Clock Mole Timer. And this is the basis of our game. Finally, when we touch the mole with our finger, we want to play a sound. So let's go into media, drag over a sound component. Once again, it's a non-visible component. And we're going to rename that sound mole hit. And the sound source is going to be squeak. One last thing, I think my screen would look better with a black background. Now you create this interface, rerun the video if you need to, pausing when necessary.